A couple of days ago, I talked about the situation with Mr. Beast and one of his best friends and longtime channel member, Chris, who was actually Mr. Beast's first subscriber. The situation was him coming out as trans. I I'm saying him because he has any pronouns. And then the internet seemed really confused on the situation, like it was their choice if Chris came out as trans or not. Now, one thing has happened since I made that video. Sunny V2 has made a video condensing the entire situation. And people now seem to claim that this is Sunny V2's worst video and how this is going to be like the downfall of his career. Now, although the video does have some holes in it, which I'm going to point out. It is like not, it's not the downfall of Sonny V2's career. The thing is with Sonny, he makes well edited, concise videos. I enjoy watching his content. And as we all know, as there are many jokes about it, if his channel didn't exist, Power Alive would basically be a, a barren wasteland. I do like the guy and I think he makes great content. But that being said, it was very obvious that this video was rushed. I think that's the main problem with it. There wasn't any kind of malice or, you know, plan. And it wasn't, you know, his secret opinion on trans people leaking out. I don't think it was anything like that. It was just a rushed video because he wanted to be ahead of the rat race. Like, for example, example, I tried to get out a topic before Critical, before Ludwig, and if I am, great, but sometimes there's editing errors, there's holes in my script, there's holes in my script, I can even make mistakes. It is very common if you're in this kind of game on trying to shit out a topic before everyone else. I wasn't originally going to do this, but I think it's going to be interesting to go over the Sunny V2 video and just kind of gauge people's opinion on it. We could watch the Sunny V2 video on Mr. Beast. I haven't seen it yet. I've not heard a single good thing about it, though. Honestly, this might be the last Sunny V2 video we watch, depending on, you know, how things go. He's being attacked a lot. Us. I, we we might watch it. We might watch it. What did he do? Uh, he made a video on the situation with uh, Chris coming out as transgender. He basically just talked about Chris like he was an asset to Mr. Breast, I think, and not an actual human being, which is kind of bizarre. I will say this now. A lot of people have shit on Sunny V2. I don't want to be one of those people. I don't know him personally. I haven't, you know, ever met him or talked to him or anything, but I can just tell from the way that people are shitting on this video. He probably didn't have any malice intended. I, I just think he knows it's a rat race to talk about a topic first. And unfortunately, when it's a rat race, you make mistakes. You make a lot of mistakes. I mean, a, a good example is Ludwig. Ludwig does Mogul Mail. He makes a fuck ton of mistakes. And he's actually now got a moderator team to do like a Google Doc, like a sheet of whenever he's made mistakes. Like me, I made a really embarrassing mistake in my video about Chris, right? A really embarrassing. I referred to him at one point as Chris Chandler because I was thinking of Chandler from Mr. Beast, the, the other guy. And we all know who fucking Chris Chan is, right? That was embarrassing. But yeah, that was that was really bad because it. I think Chris is also, well, Christina, I think, is also transgender as well. So people probably thought I was like sniding Chris and that just wasn't the intention at all. It was just a really, really fucking unfortunate mistake because I was thinking of Chandler, uh... The Mr. Beast burger. I had a comment on my video about uh, Chris from Mr. Beast saying I was dead naming. One of my friends asked like, okay, who the fuck is he dead naming? And then they said, oh, you dead named Toby. Toby from uh, Fitz's group, Toby on the telly. And it's like, okay, so Toby, if I if I dead named her, what's her name now? Her name is still fucking Toby, you moron. She went from Toby with a Y to Toby with an I. And then he deleted his comment, unlucky. I'm kind of interested to see what he says because I haven't seen the video. I just saw Ludwig did a mogul mail completely shitting on him but i haven't actually watched the video for myself chris tyson has been in a bit of hot water recently and there have been plenty of videos on that but how will this drama affect mr breast is this going to be mr breast's biggest controversy to date or will jimmy be able to steer the ship to clear waters as he usually does does his friend Carl Jacobs and the Carl effect <laughs> have anything to do with how Chris became the most hate? I love, I love, the Carl effect was literally a TikTok meme that came out of fucking nowhere, by the way. The the Carl effect, it, it's not Carl Jacobs. Carl Jacobs had nothing to do with it. Right, let's, uh, let's watch this. 60 FPS, let's go. The Chris Tyson situation could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast brand. However, it may also provide some unique benefits. So let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. <laughs> Whenever he says that, I just kind of think, how will this affect the economy? Mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quick- Also, Jesus Christ, I, I wasn't even paying attention. Look at the dislikes. Damn. I mean, YouTube literally turned off visible dislikes to like mentally make you not want to dislike a video. Damn, that's still 50-50. I did actually see uh, Mr. Beast did like, it did a little roast towards uh, Sunny V2. Let's see if we can find it. Oh my God, look at this. Okay, so this new Sunny V2 video feels really invasive for all the wrong reasons. Like, why did you make this? You delved into the man's marriage and shit. It just really feels off-putting and unnecessary. And then... Oh my god, Jimmy responded. Yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my fucking friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. It's starting to piss me off. I'm going to roll my sleeves up, huh? 
Eh? 300,000 likes for a reply though, by the way, not a quote tweet. That's insane. But yeah, it, it, again, I haven't watched the Sunny V2 video yet. I do not feel that he is transphobic at all. I just feel that he tried to beat the rat race and get a video out first, which is what we all tried to do, right? Critical tries to do it. I tried to do it. Ludwig tries to do it. And if you're first, you get really good views, but there's a chance that you missed a lot of research and you probably fit some really bad takes in there that you needed a second pair of eyes to look over. Pyro says trans NB rights. Okay, I'm going to say something really brave here. Trans rights. Oh my god. That Pyro guy is really brave. He really like, you know, he, he says the most brave outspoken stuff that no one else has said on stream. Holy shit. I love that Pyro guy. I gotta watch him more. Quintessential Southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making tweets such as I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. I don't even think that's the problem. It's how fucking disgusting that Louis Vuitton card holder is. What the fuck is that color? That is nasty. Come on, bro. Additionally, Chris would highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, Okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I, quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as... I, I, feel, I feel there Chris was definitely fishing for a... Uh like approval not approval but chris was fishing for people to say you look different because that's what he wanted uh, if anyone thinks i'm misgendering chris by the way he has like any pronouns in both of his bios so unlucky i definitely feel with a tweet like that he was fishing for uh you know some kind of approval that he has physically changed i said this in my chris video originally but it's so obvious that he's been trans for quite a while behind the scenes but you only see him in mr breast videos right so you'll see him in one mr breast video maybe you don't watch the next mr breast video maybe you skip two you know you're not an avid, an avid watcher, but when it comes into your recommended, you'll click on it. It's actually been like six months. And then you see Chris as this totally different character and you just think like, holy shit, it's changed so much. But that transition has been going on so slowly behind the scenes. Prompting replies such as, you went from man to boy. Chris responded by stating, nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, I mean, I wouldn't say he looks more feminine. I'd just say he's now clean shaven and grew out his hair. I would not say that's more feminine. For example, on the 6th of January, 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. The response to the video- I keep seeing this comment everywhere that Chris lost a bet. It's like on the live stream. The live stream, by the way, has so much hate. It actually has so much hate. It's insane. Hang on. Look at that. Look at that. 158,000 likes and 149,000 dislikes. Like for Mr. Breast, that is unheard of. It then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating how did Chris go from this to this, while others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Now, this was pretty ridiculous as Carl isn't even that feminine and Chris had come out as bi- I mean, Carl does dress a little zesty, right? I, I have no idea what Carl's sexuality is, by the way, and it's not for me to assume, unless he's came out himself with his own sexuality. But yeah, like, like even if, like, Carl was the reason that Chris has, like, had an awakening, like, who gives a shit, right? But yeah, I, I, as Sonny is about to say, he did come out and tweet that he was bisexual, like, years ago. I think Chris came out as bi, like, before his marriage, I think. And Chris had come out as bisexual years before- Oh no, that's 2020. That might actually been during his marriage. Also, I want to use my alt to let everyone know that I'm bisexual, and when I told a few people, I did when I was 16. Oh, okay, so it's been, he's felt it for a while. I got a lot of negative backlash from friends, family. Just know if the people around you don't love and support you, we always will. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization. Ain't no way, bro, left it. I, I, okay, I said this in my Chris video. I don't understand this cope where it's like uh, someone that feels that they're trans wake up one day and they go, okay, I don't know. I just want to uproot my entire life. My wife, uh, I don't think I will. My kid, uh, I don't think I will. I, I just want to be trans for the funny. It doesn't work like that. This is obviously something that's been in his head for a while and he could have hidden it. He could have not been trans, but then he would have been fucking miserable for the rest of his life. So what, like, like a, keep a bunch of like 12 year olds happy that like they, he never would have met in his life. There are so many people that get married and shit, right? And then they come out as gay when they're, when they're like 40 or something. It's insane. It's just so obvious that he's felt like this for a while. And it's like, you know, it's, 
like making it out that he just like stopped caring about his family because he wanted to be trans. It's like, no, I hate to say it. He felt trapped. The point being that he felt like he was trans for a while and he obviously felt trapped. Now, you can argue that it is slightly selfish with his, you know, his wife uh, and child, but I don't really think that's fair to say it's selfish because it's it's a catch-22, right? He stays with his family. He feels that he's trans. He feels trapped forever. Like he's in a fucking gridlock. It's hell, right? Or he, you know, leaves his family to pursue, you know, his own lifestyle because he's he's trans now and he feels more free. Yeah, it, it is it is a catch-22, but I think anyone that says that he should have stayed with his family, I think you're basically condemning the guy. You're basically just saying like, yeah, fuck it. He should just stay with his family for the rest of his life. Like, like whatever, who cares? So it is, uh, it, it's a really difficult situation, but I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely on Chris's side for this one. Uh, because he's just getting so much shit he doesn't need to get thrown at him. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023, reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. I, I, I do want to say, by the way, uh, I'm not sure if Chris is actually divorced yet. Obviously, that's not really our, like, you know, thing to pry into. Uh, I was scrolling TikTok last night, and I actually saw Jake the Viking, if you guys remember. He was, like, an old member of the Mr. Breast crew, and he actually was on a, he was on a TikTok live playing Tarkov. Non-stop, he was asked about Chris. Non-stop. I felt so bad for the poor guy, because all he, like, every single comment was about Chris, and you could tell he was getting pissed off about it. Jake basically didn't say anything like that was you know anything bad he didn't do any, anything slanderous but he did say that chris is getting divorced and he's doing everything the right way that, that that's all that he said so i think the divorce proceedings are kind of still going through at the minute why do people care he was a guy now He's a girl and I'm a helicopter. I, I like how he made the attack helicopter joke, by the way. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. As the criticism continued to pile, Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this before- I, I don't understand that wording. He doubled down. Again, I, I, I do like Sonny's videos. I really do. Like, he, he helps me keep the lights on in my house, right? But I don't understand the wording of Double Down. He's wording it like it's a YouTuber that's been exposed for something and they make an apology. But instead of making a, an apology, they double down. He's not doubling down. He's just expressing himself. I don't really look like that. Like, that would... I mean, if he came out as being more effeminate and then he changed back to the original Chris, that would kill him. That would actually kill him because he would feel like he tried to to be experimental. He tried to come out as more feminine, like maybe semi-trans, and then it didn't work. And then he has to go back to like the, the Chris that he is uncomfortable being in. That'd be hell. That's even worse than never coming out because he tried and, and failed. He'd been doing HRT for approximately two months. Th this was his coming out, by the way. He didn't do like a big twit longer or a video or anything like that. He literally did a quote tweet saying, hormone replacement therapy and it's only been two months. Which according to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Chris would expand on this by stating, informed consent HRT saved my and many others lives. The hurdles- So true. Thank you, Loggy, for the 15. It's stunning to me the amount of people that are still just openly transphobic insane. Yeah, again, I, I don't think Sonny's transphobic. I don't believe that at all. I've seen a lot of people, especially on LSF, and they've kind of said the mask has slipped and his transphobia is showing. I, I don't think... I haven't watched the whole video yet, but I don't think there's anything that's going to make me uh, openly go, holy shit, this guy hates trans people. GNC people have to jump through to get life-saving, gender-affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies, which received a positive response from both Carl and Mr. Beast, who wrote, got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. Well I do, I do have to talk about a little bit of law here. I'm kind of worried that Carl Jacobs doesn't like me at the minute. Nothing to do with Chris, by the way. So I posted, uh, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do some con, I, I, I gotta do a little bit of law. I posted this tweet, I think like a week ago. What is this place? Who picked truck? Dude, this that is some me. Ohio stuff, bro. Will you shut the hell up? Get the hell off! So I posted that 
like, because I thought the Arthur Morgan reaction was funny where he slams someone's head into the table. And also Carl Jacobs saying an Ohio meme, like in current month is a little bit, you know, a little bit dead. Uh, and then Carl Jacobs reached out to me in DMs and he said, like, what's all this with like a puzzled emoji? Uh, he doesn't follow me, by the way, even though I follow him. So a little bit awkward. Uh, I did say to him, it's all jokes, bro. I didn't mean it. I can even take it down if you want. Uh, he didn't reply. Yeah, it's a little bit. To be fair, I, I think I posted that meme at the worst time possible because I think the entire Mr. Beast crew were on like high alert to like defend Chris. And I kind of got caught in that crossfire because they might have thought that I was, you know, mocking Chris, which I wasn't. That wasn't the intention at all. I was mocking Carl for making a dead meme. But anyways. While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times. Weak man times. Oh my God, bro. I, I watch Andrew Tate on YouTube shorts as well. What the hell? Oh my God, so based. Shake my hand. I'm going to repeat what Ludwig said here because we all steal video topics from each other. It's so true in the fact that like Chris's kid, even if Chris fully becomes, you know, trans female woman. Chris's kid is going to have an amazing life. Like his family is going to be in that Mr. Beast click. So he's going to be sorted for life. Like monetary wise, he's going to have so he's going to be like one of the kids from succession, but they're actually going to be happy and they're going to have a good relationship with their family, not a diabolical one. He's going to be eating good. He's going to that kid is set for life. He's going to be able he, he does not have to work for anything. He's going to get everything handed to him. He's won, bro. You know that life lottery that everyone talks about you get born into, you know, that life lottery of like, am, am I going to be, am I going to have the right genes? Am I going to be tall enough? Am I going to be uh, conventionally attractive enough? Am I going to be born into a family of money? He has won that, bro. Every box checked. Like he won. He won. Chris's kids, I kneel. He won. Chris responded to this comment by stating, this is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around kids. Tucker begged- Money isn't everything without a father. True. But also that being said, he is still going to actually- Oh no, he deleted his message. Why did you delete your message after you said that? Someone in chat said money isn't everything without a father. And then he deleted his own message. You fucking coward. I thought the mods got that. You little bitch boy. No, I, I, okay. That's a fair point though. Money isn't everything without a father, but he's got an incredibly supportive parent, I guess you could say. Chris has made it apparent that even if he's going trans, he is still supporting his uh, his kids. 100%. Okay, there, there's not any more pictures with him and his wife or ex-wife. Fair enough. You've got me there. I kneel. Hands up. You got me, Walter White. He's still got multiple pictures of him with his kid. He wants to support his kid. He's, he's not like abandoning his child. He wants to fully support him. So... <laughs> Take the L. It's for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. He is so loved and happy. Kids aren't born with hate. It's taught by people like you and my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great parent and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. Chris's response received some positive- I'm gonna say like, I, I know I've been God defending Chris the whole time, but Tucker is the most Southern like name I could think of in my entire life. It's like calling your kid Huckley or something. Jesus Christ. I'm convinced you're an amazing father. Tucker is lucky to have you and also lucky to have all of those who surround and support you in his life. As well as I adore that, I'm glad you made that decision. It's so much easier to be a parental figure when you're not struggling with dysphoria. <laughs> Yeehaw, Tucker. <laughs> He's like, you know, you know the meme of like the boomer on the monster zero ultra? No, that's not it. There it is. Yeah, that's close enough. That'll be, that'll be Tucker. Tucker when he's in his 30s on his little lawnmower with his Monster Zero Ultra. I don't understand why Monster Zero Ultra is now associated with boomers. I'm not sure like what happened there, but you know. Uh, yet he'd also receive an equal amount of backlash. You ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty. <laughs> why do they all, they all make this same argument like he did it for the funny. I'm not going to repeat myself again, but like it, it's a feeling he's had for months and months, years probably. Like I know personally that he has been talking to trans creators on Twitter privately like years before this came out. I know about that. I've, I've seen the screenshots and shit. This has been brewing for years and people are making it out that like it just fucking happened overnight. L l like he's like, oh, I don't know. I, I, I want to be a woman now for the funny Lamau. It's like, oh, it's such a cope. He will get torn apart at school. Won't want to have friends around his house. A life full of difference and being alone. Must have missed the point in that tweet. How's this for him when you're depriving him 
of a father figure, although Chris wasn't altered by these comments. As he Again, like that's a cope because it's like, you know, whether he transitions to a woman or not, like, he's still going to support his child emotionally and financially. And we're not even talking about the situation where he doesn't speak to his kid and he's just throwing the kid racks every month like some distant father. He's still actually supporting the child. And again, like I said, I, I, I keep saying he. That isn't misgendering because he has any pronouns, so unlucky. I support Chris like I support Thick 2 TF Pyro. Seriously, Toe, thank you for the content. Shake my hand, shake my hand. Thank you, Gaming Lucario. You look like 2022 Ludwig if he was British and had no facial hair and an even less pronounced jawline. And about the comparison to Ludwig, I can kind of see it. Ludwig's girlfriend bakes cakes every day. Uh, my girlfriend draws fat animals. Anyways. Is certainty in a new post reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, <laughs> which received praise from... <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't laughing at the video. I was laughing at what I just said like a maggot just laughing at my own joke Can you guys stop giving me money? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to watch the fucking video Thank you yeah, Thanks, man. Shut the fuck up. The reason why people are angry at Sunny it's because the video seemed to show Chris's transition as a nightmare and not as someone simply expressing their true self. An L video but nothing to make a big fuss over. Anyway, love you. I, I agree with that. I think it was just rushed. Dinner. I don't think there's anything malicious about it. Kind of weird Chris promoting HRT to his young audience. Can you provide an example though? I like. I assume you mean on his alt Twitter. I don't think he's just saying like take HRT, it makes your life better. I think if he's tweeting anything like that, he's probably talking about to his younger audience and how it's like, you know, if you feel like you have like body dysmorphia or something and the fact that you feel like you're, you know, the, the wrong gender or something and HRT. Because I, I remember he did make some tweets about HRT being incredibly hard to get hold of. I don't think he's just saying on Twitter like, oh, it's okay, HRT, it fixes everything. Are you sad? Personally, I'm religious, but it ain't my place to mauled over a Mr. Beast crew member's decisions who I will never know personally. Plus, he's an adult, so who cares? Yeah, no, Crippo, you made a really good point there. The fact that you're religious and you can kind of still appreciate someone else's beliefs, that's based. Twitter attacks Hogwarts legacy for anti-trans, trans person attacked for becoming trans, silence. Ah, oh, no, but like, I mean, honestly, Mr. Beast has so much more relevance in the online sphere than Hogwarts legacy. I hate to say it because actual Hogwarts, Hogwartites, Hogwartites, they're, they're in their 30s, bro. Like actual die hard like Hogwarts fans. But I feel like Mr. Breast is an e-celeb, right? E-celebs, they get, you know, a lot more attention around them. So that's why, as an offset, Chris is also getting more attention. But no, Chris is getting loads of support from, like, trans people and, like, you know, anyone in the LGBT scene. But he's getting all those kinds of people that just kind of uh, are shitting on him as well. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, these comments also added extra fuel to the fire. In a few years, look back at this thread and remember they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. You know, the funny thing is, this character here that is saying to Chris, like, the people people that are surrounded by you are just yes men that mean absolutely nothing. If Chris were to abandon these so-called yes men and then leave, do you think M underscore alpha would give Chris any kind of support? Because I don't think so. Also, the fact that people call Chris, the people call the people surrounding Chris yes men, I don't think they know the context that Chris and Mr. Breast grew up in high school together and Chris was actually Mr. Breast's first subscriber on his channel. Like so many people don't don't even know that. Like, they're best friends, bro. They talked about it on the uh, Joe Rogan podcast. Are you going to confuzzled? What is con- What the fuck is- Okay, I saw the poor. Yep, I'm not going to that. Believe me, I'm not going to that. I'll commission art and that's the end of it. I would never go to a fairy convention. It's it taking you nearly over 30 minutes to watch a nine minute video, you absolute Oh my god, spared. because fucking morons like you keep giving me money, Gucci Shades. Thank you for the 10. Fuck off, right? Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple opinion irrelevant ratio to which the original comment- I, I, I do want to point out, by the way, like Mr. Beast and his group, they have never done more Twitter replies in their life compared to the past like month or so. So they have definitely been on high alert with the whole Chris situation. And to would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change change the dynamic within the videos. I like the red arrow. It's like, <laughs> I don't think, 
<laughs> so I thank you, Bri. I, I, I'm not actually sure what I should have been looking at there. Thank you for the red arrow. <laughs> Example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way. And while everybody participated as usual, the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does. One thing I do want to point out about this, uh, I pointed this out in the Chris video. The mod team basically did a CIA deep cleanse on the comment section because look at this. You cannot look to the left here. You cannot find a single comment about Chris. Actually, hang on. Let me just control. Let me, let me scroll for like a minute and then I'm going to control F Chris. You won't find anything. Chris. Okay. So, so we've got a guy and the actual comment's name is Chris. That's it. One out of one. And the only comment is the guy's name is Chris. So they obviously scrubbed just, they, they, they basically just said, fuck it. Let's blacklist the name Chris because we can't be asked. But yeah, no, I, I remember seeing a couple, a couple comments in the live stream saying like, uh, Chris lost a bet, which seems to be like this ongoing meme at the minute. It felt as though there was an unaddressed elephant in the room and therefore everybody was in their head. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I never saw Jimmy so sad and disappointed before. This was such a cope. Yeah, no. So in my video, I talked about, I talked about this as well. Uh, there was a TikTok and it was just such a cope. They were basically trying to say that Jimmy, Mr. Breast, felt uncomfortable around uh, Chris since transitioning. 1.8 million fucking likes, by the way, man. I think 10% of people on TikTok actually press likes, so that's probably 10 million views. Insane. Self, they clearly have him dead to rights. That's right. It's such a cope, man. It's like how Jimmy's reaction, by the way, it's like, okay, so what you're comparing that to is a Mr. Beast reaction video. So let's have a look. This is a let's have a look at the lengths here. Nine minutes, 10 minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes, because any video that is eight minutes or longer, you get to put mid rolls in and it makes a lot more money. That's why every Mr. Breast video, eight minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes. Same for me with my daily commentary cancer. It it's the same. But then if you go on to... Uh, his live stream, it's a fucking hour long. It's 58 minutes. Like, I have seen so many streamers that look like lifeless corpses from time to time. You cannot keep up that high octane energy for an entire live stream. You can't do it. Like, eventually, that smile that you've got is going to drop because it's like, I, I can't smile for an hour straight. I feel like my fucking jaw is going to lock. So, there there is downtime. I mean, there's a reason why they had Chris sit in the middle. They wanted to present him. They weren't like worried about like how people would react. They wanted to show him front and center. They wanted to say to, you know, people that are watching, we don't give a fuck, bro. If you're trans, who the fuck cares? Uh, I'm gay. But Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my God, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh my God, it's Whoa. Jimmy. How did fan art? This so is hard. what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when. I don't think that's that bad. I don't think that's that bad. I mean, I mean, do, do, do you guys, I mean, I know this stream has been going on for nearly, no, this stream has been going on for over an hour, but do you guys remember at the beginning of the stream when I mentioned how Chris, when he posted himself before with the facial hair and then himself with the longer hair and shaved and he was saying, do I look different? Like he was obviously fishing for compliments, how he's changed. He's doing the same here. He's doing the exact same here. This happens with a lot of people that become trans. They kind of, they, they, they feel like they want validation. That is not a bad thing, by the way. I'm not saying that in a derogatory way you know, in any kind of way, it's completely normal. You've changed and you want to feel that people around you give some kind of validation to that. But I don't think Jimmy feels uncomfortable. It's like, you know, it's just, he's just fucking vibing with it. He doesn't say at any point, okay, you know, Chris, you got to stop this, bro. Like it's such a cope to say he's uncomfortable. Like, no, what you, he doesn't, wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me Mr. Beast doesn't do, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't go, he doesn't do that the entire stream, a fucking hour long stream. Are you telling me he has moments of downtime? Oh my God. Okay. No, he fell off guys. He fell off. Each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks dude. Nice shirt. Hey, nice oh. shirt. Thanks dude. Nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. 
for the most part, the live stream was good. I mean, honestly, that, that interaction there, I think you guys need to understand the power of editing. That is nothing to do with Chris being trans. This is okay. So I, I, I have a little confession to make about YouTubers, which a lot of you may not actually know. YouTubers naturally are not funny people. They are very awkward. They are naturally introverts and they sit behind a computer screen talking, talking shit about people online for a living. Hello. So obviously Mr. Breast, you watch he, all of his videos, probably scripted, edited, pre-recorded, he has lines. He has an editing team that edits down the video to the highlights, to the highest point. This has none of that. This is just a pure live stream. And when you see a live stream, you kind of realize how people like, they're kind of fucking cringe. Like I I, I did a live stream with uh, Code uh, Code Miko, the the the, the uh, Asian girl that, you know, she does like the VR stuff and she interviews people in VR. She had me on an interview on her show, like when she was like in uh, like IRL at her place uh, some time ago. She was super sweet, by the way, like super friendly. Like, like I love her. I was awkward on that interview because it wasn't a live stream. It, it wasn't pre-recorded. I had no like shit to work with. You're probably good at makeup. <laughs> Who did your makeup? Thank you. Uh, my girlfriend did. Wait, what? Yeah, my girlfriend did it. Wait, you're not... Wait, you're straight? Yes. Wait, since when? Since ever. What? All they've got there is a fucking stream deck to press buttons on that play funny sound effects. That's it. These are, th this is a group of naturally introvert, awkward people. None of them give off that Jake the Viking Chad energy, unfortunately. Like, I'm sorry to break it to you, but there's nothing wrong with that. But, but, but the fact that the narrative is being twisted, that they're now kind of uncomfortable around Carl being trans, it's a cope. It's a big fat cope. They're just nerdy white kids, man. <laughs> it's like three quarters of all of YouTube. Like, I hate to say it. I am trans, M2F. And what Chris is doing is is not a bet or a joke as why would someone want to draw attention to themselves that makes them a target for death threats. Also, HRT messes with the mental state of the mind and can cause depression in some. Yeah, Nikki, about your donor about people taking HRT. I, I, yeah, I have known a lot of people that have taken HRT and they have gone, uh, like, uh, that, yeah, it, it really kind of fuck with your mental state, like, in the short term. It, it really can. You can have complete highs and lows. You can have complete euphoria where you are the most happiest, horny person on earth. And then you have complete melancholic depression where you don't even want to get out of the bed. It is insane. So I, I, I agree with that. And I, I'm happy that you can uh, talk about that yourself. The, okay, Harley. Yeah, Harley. Sorry, I, I scrolled past your message. Uh, this isn't really a problem. Sonny faded out Chris's audio right after Mr. Breast said he is funny. I mean, yeah, I don't even need to find that timestamp. I think I've just kind of made the point myself. Like, like they're, 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 they're just nerdy introverts like me. Like, I don't really think that this whole narrative about how it's awkward because of Chris, I don't think that's true at all. I don't think that's true. Etika was the only YouTuber I knew could keep up the high energy during a live stream. Etika was built different though, bro. You know, funny thing, the, the, the first video I found of Etika was because I was getting, someone signed me up for like a mail spam account and I was getting like five thousand emails every like day and then i was looking like who the fuck signed me up to this like how the fuck do i fix it and then i typed in my problem into youtube and it came up with an etika video and he had like a he was having like a nosebleed at the time or something and he had like tissues up his nose or something oh man fucking wish i met that guy man i really wish i met that guy he seems so fucking based i really wish i wish i was like a viewer of him as well you know i wish i didn't like kind of see him like so later on in life like before uh like so soon before uh yeah draw come boys for life in my experience with HRT, the highs are higher, but the lows are so much lower. Oh, yeah, but it's worth it, though, right? It's the entire reason you fucking take it. I mean, it's all temporary. But yeah, I know people that take HRT and they just become, they, they, they become fucking catatonic. But again, thankfully, it is short term. One person that I know that's trans. Okay, my computer just closed. Why did it do that? I think it's okay. I think my computer actually shut down because I, I think my computer went to screen saving because I wasn't using it because I've been waffling on for so long. Uh, I had one person that actually told me uh, taking HRT and becoming trans, it's like going through puberty again in the sense of like you go through all those insane emotions again of being incredibly horny, incredibly euphoric, euphoric. In this moment, I'm euphoric for fuck's sake. Is it euphoric? Euphoria. Yeah, intense euphoria. Uh, and then the depression as well, because your emotions through puberty are so much more like intense as opposed to when you level out through like adulthood. I don't know how true that is. I, I, I haven't taken HRT. I, I, I'm never going to take HRT. I keep seeing people on Twitter though saying like, when is he going to come out as trans? trans like it's not gonna happen bro it's not gonna happen like i dressed up as a woman like three times like get over it 
Come on. Right, let's uh, let, let, let's work through this. Part the live stream was devoid of awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. Look at those views though, man. That is insane. I actually feel bad for Chris. I'm pretty sure he's disabled comments on his uh, Instagram. Look at this though. He's got comments on this latest post. Comments disabled, comments disabled. I think he's disabled comments all the way up until uh, a picture of him and his wife. But I cannot blame him because he is getting so much fucking hate right now. It's insane. They're all saying like, we miss the old Chris. We want the old Chris back. Like these are fucking eight-year-olds on their iPad that turn like 12 and they just realize they don't like Mr. Beast content anymore. You should dress as a woman more. I was thinking of doing an OnlyFans, like a thirst trap one. Not where I actually show any skin or anything though, but yeah, I was thinking of doing that. It'd be funny. And my girlfriend's very good at makeup. Oh my God, the chat right now is saying, please do it. Guys, what do you mean Markiplier did? Markiplier didn't do fucking shit. Shut up, Markiplier did it, you maggot. Wait, what? Okay, Byron, where, where you did he trans. do it? Maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a successful member in the first place? Perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. This was- Okay, that's very bad wording. Sonny, you're probably gonna be watching this video. I, I do not hate you, bro. I think you may like very good videos and you you made good videos okay but i i do think i do think the ball was dropped on this one apart from watching him for like slop on, on the power live channel i do watch his videos in my spare time but that take i can just tell you wrote that in in two minutes that was very rushed it, it, he says like chris might lose personality traits that made him part of the Mr. Beast group. He may also gain personality traits that benefit the Mr. Beast group. The, the problem is, I don't know if Sonny knows this, but he's talking about Chris like he's an asset to the Mr. Beast channel. I mean, technically he is, true. But Chris is also like a human being. So it, yeah, it, it comes across as very like, I, I, I feel like I'm in a fucking board meeting right now with like Tim Apple. <laughs> Tim Apple. If you start an OnlyFans, I can finally sub to someone other than Finster. Real. He makes too much money. I kind of want to leech off that a bit. Good Bro, gosh. that's not how it works, Lamau. That Fuck, last I, line I kinda they... feels like he's trying to play both sides. He might worsen the Mr. Beast videos, or he could make them better. It's really not a great yeah. look. Yeah, no, I think Sonny there, he tried to cater to both sides, which so many commentary YouTubers do, by the way. Like, I've done that. I'm guilty of that. Like, me, me, the guy that uploads loads daily slop. I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know, like, oh, this guy's so bad. He makes such shit content. I mean, I make fucking daily slop. I'm, I'm aware of that. But I think him trying to cater to both sides without actually sustaining his points. It, yeah, people kind of poked holes through that and turned it into Swiss cheese, which kind of sucks. The live stream is an hour and nine minutes off a one minute, uh, off a nine minute video, bro. Real put forward in many comments supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. I don't understand why Sonny's talking about it in a binary way, like, like a monetary way. It's like Chris will, there will be so many kids that grow up that are queer or trans or LGBTQ letter, letter, letter plus, and they will look up to Chris and be like, okay, this is someone I can identify with because he's not on the typical like cis spectrum. But like, because that isn't translated into money, why is that a bad thing? I don't... Yeah, I, I, again, again, I don't think Sonny is transphobic. I know, brave statements only on this channel. But I, I, I just think, again, personally, like I've said like nine times, he tried to rush this video out to get it out before anyone else, which we've all fucking done. We've all done that. We're all guilty of that. And he made a lot more mistakes than what people would usually make. He obviously just wrote the script in an hour and then you know, handed it off to someone to edit. I mean, I know YouTubers that don't, don't even script their own videos. Lazy bastards. I don't think uh, Sonny is in that area, but yeah likely cultivated a massive LGBT Ow. audience, all of whom are already watching anyway. And if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended. <laughs> There's often nothing more than a distraction. <laughs> why? Why are we Why are we talking about fucking Netflix adding like fucking gay black people as opposed to someone who is like actually coming out as trans because that's how they identify. I <laughs> what the fuck? What's the comp 
embarrassing, bro. Oh my god. Okay, that that I, I can't even hate Sonny. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Like that doesn't even make any sense. Like he's comparing it to like you know that you know the whole meme, right? How Netflix keeps adding like uh like gay minorities and stuff. It's like, oh, it's a Netflix remake because it's got gay minorities. But like the the, the fact that he's comparing that to like someone who has came out as transgender and they want to be comfortable in their own body. Acting like it was a choice from an executive on a CEO board of Netflix to improve their like fucking ESG score or something. It's so bad, bro. I just think he rushed it. And I think after this, he will definitely be getting people to read over his scripts. Rare Sunny V2L. Yeah, no, it is rare. As much as people want to say it's common, it is rare. He's usually never had it. He's usually had very safe takes that like are not bad. But this is his first bad take. I mean, fucking hell, bro. Everyone's had bad takes. I've had bad takes. Although, as we have seen, a situation like Chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion, which could be seen as a benefit for the Mr. Beast brand. Drama is good for growth, 100%. That would be an easy way to up my- Wait. I used to hear that again. I'm hoping I didn't hear what I just heard. Drama is good for wow. 100%. That's, that's a really bad take. Okay, that's... Okay. I can't even meme about that. That's a really bad take. The way it's being framed is like Jimmy could use Chris being trans as a way to get more traction to the channel. Again, talking like Chris is an asset, not a human being. That's bad, bro. That's, yeah, that's not a good look, man. That's not good. Problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract. He can't say anything without being canceled. I mean, okay. I like how that's that's a very fair comment because if he says, you know, I support Chris, all the trans are going to come for him. He says he's uncomfortable around Chris. All the trans people are going to come for him. But this, like, th th this oracle of wisdom is coming from a TikTok account called Ben Dover to agree with Chris's position as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the it's bad It's just, guy. I, I don't get these copes. Like, Jimmy's trying his best to smile. Like, he's on an hour-long live stream. You cannot smile and be happy for an entire live stream. There is going to be downtime. Look at Forzen, bro. Look at the following Forzen has. He says a word, like, every two hours. And then Hassan, every time Hassan plays a video, walks out his fucking chair. I don't get this cope. It's not a, bro, it's not an eight-minute Mr. Breast reacts to a car crash compilation. He starts laughing at every second. It's such a bizarre cope. Uh, Belch, his video towards Ninja has also been resurfacing because there was another video with odd takes. I'm not going to lie. I think the whole kind of like looking back into what Sunny V2 said, that that that's L. That's L. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. Unless it's a catas catastrophically, if it's a take that catastrophic, you should have noticed it when it first happened. I think now retroactively looking back on it, it's kind of that thing where if a YouTuber gets into shit, people start to be like, you know, they'll, they'll be like, they'll, they'll pull up the pull out the old receipts and be like, oh, you did this. You did this. You did this. That That's where it gets a little bit dirty. I, I, I don't know. Because if you said something really bad at the time, people would have called it out at the time. I feel like it's kind of dogpiling at that point. It's a lose-lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for real. I don't think, I, I, Jesus Christ, that, 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 this fucking comment gave me an aneurysm. Are you on your meds? You're in your fucking dream normal pills? So if he kicks out Chris, he's cancelled. If he doesn't kick out Chris, his channel will die. I like how you can tell it's a TikTok comment because he added for real at the end to kind of validate his point. Like the people on TikTok, they will either do a skull emoji or they'll say for real at the end to kind of like, you know, validate their point. Acting like they've got like a fucking, uh, uh, a source behind it. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Bro, they were uh, uh, honestly, for anyone in chat that's hoping that like Jimmy kicks out Chris, it's not happening, bro. They were childhood friends. Hey, Finish hey, now, Byron, right? They're not doing a third trans one. person, every time you say something positive about trans rights, I actually tear up. It means the world to me to thank you, Pyro. Haha, <laughs> you cried over something I said, Lamau. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Skill, for the 10. <laughs> No, no, th th thank you. I, I appreciate it. Thank you for the 10. You can tell he's weirded out. Okay. Nice boob guy seven. You are 12, bro. You are 12. By the way, to make a TikTok account, you need to be 13. Just putting it out there, bro. Just putting it out there. Chris's transition, a silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings and may rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast 
these videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept this fate as removing Chris from- Accept this fate, by the way. My childhood friend came out as trans. That is my fate. I I I'm pretty sure that's what the entire Misfits group thought. You know, you know Swagger Souls and Fitz and McCreamy and Zuckles? They thought when Toby the telly came out as trans, this is our fate. Fuck off. What do you mean? It's, it's our fate. Why is that wording? Oh, again, I, I really love Sonny. I really do. I think he makes very good content, but this, yeah, he dropped the ball on this one from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution should things go south might be for Chris to resign himself and even then rumours and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing... His friend really put him in a mess of a situation. Jimmy, I mean, Forgetting no. that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact type of drama. It's not drama. It's like your friend just came out as trans and he's dealing with it the best way he can. I mean, he's obviously very emotionally forwarded. My take from that whole situation, I think, uh, again, I don't think Sonny is a malicious person. I've seen people like relentlessly shitting on him. I think that's kind of unfair. He did have a bad take there, but I, I think he was just rushing it out for the views. Like it, because uh, commentary is just a complete rat race, which uh, it is, unfortunately. It, it, it do be like that. But uh, I don't think it was malicious. Trans people kind of based. That's it. That's my brave take. <laughs>